like imagine y'all are all on the same fucking team or whether you are or not i don't care but let's have a good time all right yeah Hey, yo, Gene Ambo, you motherfucker. How many people remember that motherfucker, you cocksucker? Where you at? Yeah. Y'all ready? This, is, this first song is going to be our sound check. Ready? wishes.
are not letting me down but your motherfuckers in the back should move up come keep these motherfuckers company i think that i think y'all are scaring them what the fuck? why is it so quiet man god damn that one wasn't that successful usually they're like Pah. So what do you want to hear? You want to hear some more best wishes?
Could you do me a favor and lose some of that echo on the vocals? I don't know. Is there all kinds of echo and shit out there? They say they can't hear me. I think they're pro they're probably I think they're probably better off not hearing me. But hey, man. Hey, you motherfuckers in the back. Are you having a good time or are you just standing there? Make some fucking noise then. Look, I don't care. I don't care how you have fun. I don't give a fuck if you just stand there bobbing your head. You know, it, it don't mean nothing to me as long as you're having a good time. You know, so. And if you're not having a good time, then fucking go inside and have a beer and get the fuck out of my face. You know? I don't give a fuck. I'm here for everybody who's having a good time. I'm having a good time. <laughs> I love fucking Chicago. What's the next motherfucker? Oh shit, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. This was like pretty much it was like the first kind of like love song I wrote, you know? And and like I was at a place in life where I was so desperate for like love and, and hope. And I was actually praying. This was a prayer. This was my this was my song to god saying please open up my eyes please give me the fucking the vision to see please help me find my way man i'm so fucking lost and uh you know what i uh, this record's really a time capsule because you know i thought i had found a lot of answers and it took me another 15 20 30 years to realize i don't know shit and like you know we all like to think you know, when you hit 30, you're like, man, I didn't know shit when I was 20. And then when you hit 40, you're like, I didn't know shit when I was 30. And, and I'm just starting to figure shit out now. So this was a love song to God, but now it's a love song to my wife. Because you know what? She fucking made me a better man. And, uh, and I love her for that. She's not here today. Hopefully she'll see this on YouTube and... And, and love the fuck out of me when I get home. <laughs> see, this is all a fucking uh, hidden agenda. I'm like, see, see, honey, I love you. <laughs> nah, I really do, man. So, you know, if you're lost, man, just know love is the fucking way to find your way home, man. You got to learn how to love yourself. You got to learn how to love your fellow human being and, and the animals and the earth and every fucking thing else. There ain't no hope otherwise, you know. I was a really mean motherfucker when I was young, man. I spent more time kicking the shit out of people than most people spend, you know, eating food. You know, I, I did a lot of damage in my life. But you know what, I'm just trying to be a better human moving forward. We all have dirt, but we all gotta try to improve. And uh, anyway.
definitely need some more vocals. I'm like, I'm gonna break a fucking lung trying to push this motherfucker. All right, you know, we'll do that one next time. This motherfucker's been trying to get me to play that shit all fucking tour. I just don't remember the words, man. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm actually having a little bit of a rough time with these Best Wishes songs. I haven't done most of them in like fucking 20-something years. So if you know the words, feel free to come up here and help me out, man. Uh... I wrote this one back, uh, I don't think anybody, I think there's like two people here today who are at the Metro when the Cro-Mags played with Venom. Does anybody remember that? Let me tell you something. That, that was one fucking hell of a show. Holy fuck. That was when I realized I fucking loved Chicago. We went out on that stage and everybody in that fucking place was booing us. They fucking hated us. This whole place was fucking going, skinhead suck, skinhead suck. We walked out on stage, we were like, fuck. Yo, we did two fucking songs, that place was dead fucking quiet. By the time we did the third song, they went from going like this to going like this. And by the time we were done, I don't think anybody gave a fuck that Venom was even playing. I'm just being honest, and I love Venom. I'm just saying. I love Venom, but we fucking wiped the floors with them that night. I'm just saying. Kronos, I love you, bro, but man, that night you were my bitch. So anyway, we wrote this one around that time period because everybody was getting all on that devil shit. So I wrote this song called Crush the Demoniac.
Yeah. All right, you people still with us out there, man? I mean, I can see their faces. They're having fun. You guys back there having fun? Now look, again, I don't give a fuck if you're just standing there having a beer. Are you having fun? Good. That's all that matters to me. So guys, you want to hear some more best wishes or you want to hear something else? I'm going to kill you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. Damn, this is the problem when you have as many songs as we do. It's like motherfuckers be pulling shit out of fucking out of their ass. Damn, I haven't done that one in fucking all right, how about this? Which album do you want to hear something from? You know what? I wrote this one fucking a long time ago, and sadly, <laughs> shit hasn't really changed, has it? Hell! 
God damn. Supposedly we have 10 minutes left and I know there's a curfew, so. Man, you motherfuckers, I fucking wish I could play for you all fucking night. But sadly, this is it. So you know what? We're going to do this next one. It's a nice long one. It's going to give everybody a chance to fucking get the fuck out here and tear some shit up. And if you're not out here fucking dancing, you better be back there rolling a fucking fat fucking cannon to smoke with me. Because I will smoke all your fucking weed. Like all of it. Like all the weed in Chicago. All of it. Uh, I'd like my, my man Dominic right here to say something real quick. Everybody pay attention. Are you guys listening? This motherfucker trying to talk. Speak up. Don't be shy, man. So I'm going to be working merch when I go off the, like, off the stage. Uh, I, I get all the merch in then, okay, guys? Like, we're, we're late. We're late. I, I didn't know that's what he was going to say. Shut up. <laughs> we're not up here fucking panhandling, motherfucker. That's what I'm doing. Look, if y'all if y'all, if y'all, if y'all want a shirt, go see this cocksucker when we're done. And give him your weed for me. goes out to all the bands who played tonight and everybody who made this possible. Are you ready, motherfuckers? Don't you believe in This country So much rise of tension oh. Tell me can't you say
Thank you, motherfuckers! I wish we could do more, but the curfew...